let's take a look at some awesome, quick, and easy Doctrinal Mastery games. First, can't put my finger on it. In the description of this video, you'll see a link for a PDF file to print your own game board for Can't Put My Finger On It. You can print it on paper or cardstock and hand it out to pairs of students. That's two students per game board. Then the teacher calls out the clue. In this example, we might say, A man shall cleave to his wife and they shall be one. The first student to put his finger on the correct reference wins a point. The teacher says, Genesis 2.24. Do you get it right? Good. The first finger on that wins. Again, try another clue. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil. The first student to get his finger on the correct reference wins. This is a great game to develop some movement in the classroom to help students get to know each other a little better. And you don't have to use the entire game board. It's set up in groups of six. So the first 12 in a curriculum year are on the left side and the second 12 on the right side, and they're broken up into groups of six by color. You may choose to have students just practice groups of six, or perhaps you'll just use the books. Today you might say, we're just practicing the Isaiah doctrinal mastery scriptures, or we're just doing Moses and Abraham. This is a wonderful, quick game to get energy started at the beginning of class. Contiguous. Contiguous means next or together in sequence. Go ahead and pull out your doctrinal mastery passages and key scripture phrases section of your doctrinal mastery core document. These are the scripture phrases that we really want the students to know. As students look at these phrases, have them mark groups of, say, three words. But you want them to be tricky. For example, in Genesis 39.9, we might mark, I do this. Or in Moses 7.18, they were of. You want to choose a set of words that will make it challenging for the other team to guess what the scripture reference is. Bring to pass. The in the shall never be. You can choose whatever number you want, but I think three is a good amount when you're just using the scripture phrases. But what if you turn the students loose into the verses themselves? Here in Isaiah 58, verses 13 and 14 are the full doctrinal mastery scripture. What if they spent time in these verses and looked for five, eight, or even ten letter contiguous phrases? In this case, let's look at five words. Thou turn away thy foot, and I will cause thee. Heritage of Jacob thy father. When students discover the phrases they want, have them jot them down on note cards. This activity takes a fair amount of time. Perhaps you can take a portion of a flex day. Whether you're using the scripture phrases or the full verses, have the students spend time, look over them, and look for key words and phrases that might be challenging. Write the reference on the card, and then your phrase, in this case, the five-word contiguous phrase that we looked at before. These sets of cards should be individual to the student, although students can work together in groups. But each student should have his own set of contiguous cards to play with. They can include one phrase or more than one phrase. When you're ready to play, divide the students up. They can be played one-on-one, -on -one, or I think this works great as a group game. Let's say we had three kids on each team. The first student would read one of the clues on one of the cards. And I will cause thee. The other students have 30 seconds to try to figure out what that reference is. They can use their scriptures, their own cards, but no running searches on mobile devices. That's cheating. If you think that might be a problem, you may want to limit this to just paper scriptures. If the other team guesses the clue, they get the point. If they don't, you get the point. 
Now it's the other team's turn. They get to give a clue and see if your team can figure it out. As each team works together, they'll come to know these scriptures better and better. Each student in a team should get a chance to share one of their contiguous clues. Stump the Chump In Stump the Chump, you can use the contiguous cards you made in the first game. This time, though, you roll a die. Whatever the number is, that is the number of contiguous words the chump is given to guess the scripture reference. Now, if it lands on a one or a two, it must include a key word. For example, watchman or Sabbath. You can't use words like the and or things like that. And also, you don't have to use a physical die. You could use any kind of random number generator. There are even free apps that are just a rolling die when you shake your phone. But the question remains, who will be the chump? Well, it could be students against students, or it could be you, the teacher. And don't be worried. I hear you say, oh, but I don't know these scriptures well enough. That's not the point. Even if they catch you on every single one of them, the goal here is for the students to be spending more quality time getting to know these scriptures better. And these activities can help. So maybe it's okay if you're the chump, but you may find that you know these scriptures better than you think. Feel free to give these a try and have fun with your students getting to know the scriptures.